welcome back, folks, to the slice. We are now at the quarterfinals of the Australian Open, and I am extremely tired after staying up almost all of last night to watch Kyrgios versus Nadal, and it did not disappoint. So we're going to break down that match a little bit, and we're going to look into these juicy, juicy, juicy quarterfinal matchups on the men's draw and talk about my predictions and what I think could possibly happen and why I think Nadal and Djokovic are both on upset alert. All to be explained in this upcoming episode of The Slice. Welcome to The Slice. Welcome to The Slice. Welcome to The Slice. Well, folks, I heard your guys' critiques. I heard you guys saying, oh, if you're a big Federer fan, you can't stay up and watch them all night. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to stay up basically all night and watch Kyrgios Nadal because I think it was the most hyped up match for sure of the tournament so far. And I don't think it disappointed at all. Arguably the match of the tournament uh, with it ending the, with the exact same scoreline as their match previously at Wimbledon. Literally 6-3, 3-6, 7-6, 7-6, 7-6, which is just crazy. I don't know how that works out, but it was a great match. So thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you follow at the Slice Tennis so we can give uh, Beckett Chung, who helps us out with the Instagram, a raise from his already tiny wage um, because we're just building here. So follow us. We're on the road to 1,000. And we got lots of great stuff there coming out daily on Instagram. So that is the place to be. Also answering stuff all during the matches on there. Um, so thanks for the support. Thanks for being here. I'm stoked. The tournament, you know, my, 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 my tiredness from just staying up late to watch all these matches is catching up. I'm getting delirious, but it's getting fun. Now it's getting spooky. And these matches are going to be seriously crazy. So I'm not going to be getting any more sleep, but we're going to be breaking these down. So how did we get here? Nadal... Um, beat Kyrgios last night and that was just great. Nadal started amazing, was playing much better in the first set and then Kyrgios just had one of these crazy rallies and was able to kind of turn the match around in the beginning of the second set, went on to win that set and then it got real crazy. They went to two tiebreakers and literally could have gone either way in those. In the fourth set, Kyrgios was down and it was really cool because if you haven't seen my kind of ode to Kobe Bryant's passing, which is still extremely sad, Nick came out on the court wearing a Kobe number eight jersey from back in the day. And I felt like he, and he said afterwards, he definitely was thinking about Kobe during the match. And I think he harnessed a bit of that mo like mob of mentality in that four set, being down three or four, one, not giving up, not putting in. Cause Kobe would never give up like that. He would keep fighting. And I think it was really cool to kind of see that fight from Kyrgios um, and get to another tiebreaker at the end of the four set, just couldn't pull it out, even though he was, I think he was down 5 1 in the tiebreaker and still brought it back to 6 all. So, crazy fight from Nick Kyrgios, which, if he can keep that up, it's going to be awesome to watch this year. Kudos to Nadal for playing a great match and staying really on top of it, playing very good, uh, making it to the quarterfinal. Team destroyed Gael Monfils, looked extremely good. So, we got Nadal team, that's the first matchup. And then we have Wawrinka Zverev. After Wawrinka took out Medvedev, which I did not think was going to happen. And I watched that ma match with another friend of the show, Charles Friesen, who's one of the commenters, who's also a patron. Uh, which many of you guys can join, join the front row. We've been chatting, he's been watching our shows, and he's also contributed to the slice because he's like a tennis statist statistician wizard. He can name all Grand Slam winners off the top of his head back from, I think, 1850 till now. It's insane. I was like quizzing him last night. We had a beer and watched the match. It was crazy. Ravrenka Medvedev, I didn't think... Varenka won the first set and then Medvedev won the next two and I thought it was just going to be over but Varenka battled back and was definitely the more like aggressive player and he looked like old Varenka pre-knee injury so you got to put him as a danger to possibly win this tournament but he's still got a long way to go obviously but it's good to see him back playing like we know he can didn't know if we'd be able to see him like that again and he's playing Zverev who is in the first time for uh, at a quarterfinal I think maybe in a major but definitely at, at the Australian Open and he beat he beat um, Rublev in the match before that. And that was pretty... I thought Rublev was going to win that one because he was looking so good. But maybe we all overhyped him a bit because he hadn't really been beating too many great players before this. I saw one of the commentators say, which is a good point. He just won a lot of matches. Uh, so he's got t t crazy potential, obviously. But um, I think Zverev just played a lot better. And he's showing... Zverev is showing that he's just locked in. He was served 75% first serves in 16 aces. Uh, so yeah, he's serving well, playing well, and it's going to be a tight match with him and Varenka. I really can't call a player there. Sangren beat Fognini two nights ago in an epic match where Fognini was absolutely, sorry, Fognini, 
It was absolutely being a total wanker out there, delaying the match and different things. I like Fognini, but he was being a total wanker that match. Sangren won, which I'm stoked on. I love Sangren. He's going to play Federer, um, and that and Federer beat Fucevic. Um, and I said last, in the last video that I was part Hungarian. That was actually a mistake. I'm part Belgian. And that's what I said about when I was talking about David Goffin. My fiance is actually part Hungarian. Uh, Hungarian Norway, like greatest combination ever. Like, come on, stop it. Um, so that's what I meant to say. But then I said I was Hungarian. Like, I'm not. Anyways, um, Federer beat Fucevic and fairly straightforward. Lost the first set with a hangover from the Milman match. Got through though. So Federer Sangren is going to be crazy. And then we got Raonic Djokovic. And Raonic beat Chilich looking unreal. Probably the best I've ever seen Raonic play, which is crazy. His serve was amazing like it can get. We know he's arguably got the best serve on tour. Um, but then he's also rallying. was much better, like much better than I've seen in the past. Like his bat, he had an open stance backhand winners up the line five or six times just while I saw. And that's dangerous to see a guy like that who's that big moving super well and being able to rally and hit winners from both wings scary hours, scary time. And he's playing Djokovic, who's getting scary as well, destroying a bunch of small players who just rally. The latest victim was Diego Schwartzman, who put up a decent amount of fight and uh, was rattling Djokovic a tiny bit. But Djokovic is hitting a great level right now. So that's going to be a crazy match. So yeah, so what comes down to these matches? I got Nadal and Djokovic on upset alert. Not saying that they will lose, but I'm saying there's definitely an alert that an upset could happen. With team, team is playing unreal. They've only played one time before on a hardcore, and that was at the U.S. Open 2018. It was one of the best matches I've ever seen, and that could have gone either way. I think Team is, you know, at this point in his career, a better mover, and he's more energetic, and he hits bigger. So he's going to be able to push Nadal if he's aggressive and if he plays good. His, he, he played his best match of his tournament so far against Bonfils, and that's, so that's a really good sign coming into Nadal, and he's beaten Nadal four times already. The head-to-head -head is 9-4, to four, so he knows he can do it, and he believes he can do it. And this is going to be a real test for him. And he's done it. He's beaten big players on hard courts before. He won Indian Wells last year, defeating Federer in the final. So he can obviously do it on a hard court now. He's no longer just a clay player. So I'm, and, But Nadal's also looking super good coming into this match, taming a very good Kyrgios. So that's going to be an awesome match. But I think it could go either way. Nadal is the favorite because he's obviously won 19 slams. And he's the one of the GOATs. He's one of the greatest all-time players. So... He's the favorite there, but team could win for sure. So upset alert for Nadal, I think, there. Is that disrespectful, Nadal, Nadal fans? Let me know. I'm sure you will. But I'm just saying it could happen. I said team could beat Djokovic at last year's French Open, and everyone was like, that's so disrespectful. And he did. So just I don't sleep on my guy team. We got Vavrenka Zverev. I don't know what's going to happen in this matchup. They've only played twice with Zverev winning both, actually, but never in a grand slam. So Vavrenka loves big matches, and I think if it gets down to it in the tight moments, Vavrenka will pull that through. Um, but I'm wa I want something special to happen with Zverev, and I think he can do it if he just you know works at it, obviously. Then we got Sangren, Federer. This is obviously a great draw for Federer, and Federer should move through this match without any trouble unless he doesn't play good and Sangren just plays unreal defense and counterpunching tennis, which he can do. And he's got some serious games. So it's not going to be super easy. Sangren's in the quarterfinals for a reason. He didn't get there by fluke. Um, but it's going to be a, for sure, a, should be a, a secure win for Federer in that one. And then we have Rayanoch Djokovic. And I'm putting Djokovic on upset alert. Not saying that he should lose, but I'm saying he could. Because the way I saw jo Rayanoch play Chilich in that last match, was un it was unreal. It was honestly unreal. He's serving unbelievably freely he's gonna get a ton of free points against Djokovic which super obviously helps and then I think when they get in rallies if he's aggressive he's gonna be able to push Djokovic around because Djokovic has not played a big hitter since the first round where he had some trouble he lost a set to Jan Leonard Struff and Raonic is definitely a better version of the Jan Leonard Struff so he's played three guys who can't really hit the ball hard um, and then Djokovic could have no rhythm against Raonic so that's why I think he could be on upset alert Obviously, Djokovic is the king. He's won all nine of their meetings before. So, and then is Djokovic, but Ryanach could be up to the task. He's also beaten one of the big threes at this stage in a major before beating Federer at the 2016 Wimbledon semifinals. Obviously, Federer kind of fell, tweaked his back, but he can do it. He's been to the final of a major before. He knows he can win at this stage, and he's going to have the belief. He's a veteran. So maybe the lost generation, Ryanach, is going to redeem himself and get to the semifinals of the Australian Open. We'll see. But that's a quick quarterfinals breakdown from your guy at the size. I'm going to go really, literally edit this right now and watch Federer versus Sangren and watch the matches tonight. 
It's going to be epic. Let me know your predictions. Join the Front Row Show. Support the Slice on Patreon. If you don't know, YouTube, YouTube basically pays us no money. So all my support comes from the Patreons, which I'm so excited for and so thankful for. And we got a fresh show coming for you this week that only patrons are going to be able to see. So if you want to support the Slice, jump down there or grab one of these shirts off the site. Love you guys so much. And let's chat during the matches tonight, which are going to be epic.